What's up guys? It's Raf. The Raf Cave. Welcome back to another video. Now, I appreciate all the views and, and likes and questions about the self-calibration. I wasn't planning on doing another calibration, but there is one thing I want to do, and that's calibrate ISF bright. Um, because a lot of you have a lot of light in the room and maybe you want to do a, a, a bright mode instead of dark. With the help of Sammy, I'm going to attempt to do this here. Um, so by the way guys, I'm not an expert, right? I'm, I'm, I'm fiddling through this and learning along the way. So hopefully when I do this, it's going to be great. Otherwise I can run into a lot of trouble, a lot of problems. Um, but thank goodness this LG OLED has the built-in pattern generator uh, because with that cost out of the way, then it's a little more manageable for us regular folk to attempt to do this on our own. Um, so links in the description if you want to pick up your um, colorimeter, I think it's called. The uh, i1 Display Pro, which is what I'm using right here. And then a link to the software. And then you're good, right? Um, so 2019, 2020. I don't think 2018 has it. Anyway guys, let's get this uh, installed. So it's got this little weight in the back so it counterbalances it so it can um, sit in front of the screen and, and, and right up against the screen. That way I can have some ambient light in the room and it's okay because it's right against the screen. All right, so first thing I gotta do is flip it so the sensor's in front. Just make sure there's no dust or anything in there. Okay, looking good. All right, so I'm gonna put this on the screen. I'm going to put it right in the center, as close to it as you can. All right, so once you have the meter pretty much settled right on the screen, <clears throat> after balancing the weight behind it and twisting the wire, and it's like now it's good, you want to get a USB uh, thumbstick, small one, doesn't have to be crazy. And you want to put uh, three small files on this uh, stick. Uh, one file for SDR, one file for HDR, and one file for Dolby Vision. Um, you don't have to do this, but it's kind of nice to have this. What it does is when you play that particular file with the TV's media player, it kicks in that particular format of, this, of, the, of the, uh, the, the pictured mode, right? All right, so I'm going to put this... Uh, this in here. Afternoon on Sundays, beginning with Our Lady. All right, so I recognize the uh, the thumbstick, so we'll get into that in a moment. All right, so let's uh, let's start this thing. All right, guys. So the first thing you want to do is start up your program. And that's the Calman Home. And also, guys, um, make sure when you're going to go and do your your mode. Um, you want to turn off all the extra processing. Uh, what I do is I just go five sharpness, uh, advanced controls, turn off all this stuff here. Make sure your color gamut's on auto. Uh, for ISF bright, leave it at two two. Um, that's it for that. And then the uh, picture options, turn off all this extra processing stuff. Okay, let's do all that. And if you're doing HDR, turn off dynamic tone mapping but leave uh, peak luminance on high. And then uh, apply to all inputs. All right, so it's loading up the uh, Calman here. Okay. Well, first thing you wanna do is you wanna click this top left drop down, start calibration session. And uh, what we're gonna do is gonna browse and do uh, LG AutoCal start session that just starts from scratch redo it make sure it's all normal here square one okay so now what I do is, is um, put the TV in that particular mode we're going to calibrate so for what I'm going to do is that uh, SDR so I'm going to go to um, my media player Uh, I'm going to start the uh, USB and we're going to start the SDR file. 
All right, so that puts it in that gray SDR screen. All right, so the first thing we're gonna do is start SDR, make sure it's SDR, and then go next. And we wanna find our meter. All right, found our meter, the X right I1 display retail. And we're gonna make sure we're in the raw XYZ. And we're gonna find the source. All right, we're gonna look for LG. And for this particular one, we are gonna do the uh, 2019 model. And for this particular one, we're gonna do the 2019 because uh, right now 2020 is a little messed up still. We're gonna put in the IP address of your TV. Now it's going to search for your TV through your network and boom, it's going to ha ask for a pin and the pin on the screen is random. This allows the uh, laptop to see the TV. All right, so once it connects, um, you'll see the pattern on the screen and you want to make sure you're at the window 10%. All right, since we're doing SDR, you want to go to Gamma Formula. <clears throat> uh, switch that to Power. And we're not doing the dark mode, we're doing the bright mode, so we're going to put the Gamma at 2.2. So that'll stay the same there. Fab LG, window 10%, and you want to make sure it says SDR 709 in the color space. All right, that looks good. So we're going to move on to the next. All right, so this is where you want to run uh, the series just to see what it looks like in the beginning or how accurate or un inaccurate it is before you start the calibration. All right, so there's our reading. As you can see, it's uh, not flat. It's not a straight line, so that's that's no good. Colors are way above the point of uh, targets. And also with the delta luminance here. But you see the red line is like, past that is gross, right? Above the yellow line, I mean, it's it's, it's normal but it's not passing you want to be below that yellow line then it then below the yellow line is like the maximum you can go you can't go past that otherwise you failed this calibration the green line at the very bottom if you can't see it that's fantastic that is passing certified all right so we're moving on here to the next all right so we want to find the LG TV and um, you want to make sure it's LG, make sure it's uh, 2019, because remember the 2020 is still messed up. Put in the IP of your TV again. You connect, <clears throat> and now you get this green screen. That's why you don't want to connect your LG before you run that first uh, pre-calibration, because it'll throw off the reading. That's what I think. We locked in the, 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 the LG pattern generator there. Um, we want to make sure we're not HDR and we're make sure our color space is BT709 because it's not HDR. We are going to calibrate Expert Bright, which is the same as ISF Bright. Calibration icon is started on the TV, so you know it's connected and ready to calibrate. And from this point, we want to run a full DDC reset. So you want to reset uh, the settings of the TV or any kind of color modifications. Keep it a blank slate. Once that goes solid, we're gonna check the TV again and make sure we turn off any TV processing. All right, we're still in bright room. Five sharpness, advanced controls, off, off. Now it went automatically to wide 
It's at 2-2, which is good. Um, and then make sure all your pitcher options, everything is turned off, 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 good. Okay. All right, we're ready to calibrate and move on. <clears throat> Before we do that, we want to go into the uh, icon here. And you want to make sure your color space target is BT709 and you're still in the power mode. And other than that, I think we're pretty good. Uh, uh, down here in Delta E formula. All right, so we're going to move on to next. And we want to enable calibration because we're going to start calibrating now. Um, now, for since I'm doing ISF bright mode, I'm going to leave it at 80. I usually do mine at 85. I think that's what I did before. Matter of fact, I'm going to go 85. Um, if you're going to do like a dark mode, uh, ISF dark, you want to go down to like 27 to 30 and make sure this luminance is around 115 after you measure it. So right now for me, it's going to be a lot higher than that because we're doing um, a lot brighter. So 248 right now, it's going to stop that. But normally you want to keep it around 115 if you're doing a darker mode. All right, we're going to go next. All right, this is when we get into the actual calibration. Now this is when it actually will dial in the colors the way it should look. Now hopefully this will be a straight line. And then over here it's going to be a straight line at the end as well. That means we're going to be in good shape. So we're going to do auto cal. We're going to start that. And then we're going to make sure we're on SDR 16255. And go ahead and press OK. And this will take probably 30 minutes. It's pretty, it's pretty good, pretty decent. Low, low luminance in the bottom. All right, let's go next. And then this is gonna get the color space here. So let's do another auto cal. Now for 3D light, this is gonna, you can either go really long or, 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 or really the standard. Um, lightning LUT is the normal one to use. Uh, the others is if you want to go longer. I just do lightning let. Uh, 16255 looks good. Let her go. All right, so this screen here, you just want to choose 100, and you want to run one test. And we're keeping at the OLED light at 80. And then you can run a series if you want, just to check it out. Good. Then we'll go next. 
And then you want to uncheck calibration because we're done calibrating. You just want to see how it all ended up now. So we'll just go next. And this is the post calibration screen. This is going to tell us how well we calibrated. Now, if you want, you can actually enable the target lines by right clicking the Delta E 2000s on the bottom here. Show us those target lines. So we want to make sure we're within the red and the yellow. That's, you know, it's all right, but we really want to get it by that green. We get it under the green, it's, it's glorious. All right, so we want to run read series here we go but as you can see it's fantastic straight line here and pretty much everything is under the green I mean it's very close but we're basically all at green so that's I mean I'm gonna roll with it so let's go we'll go next as you see all the dots are very close as well here that's awesome. Now we'll see the, the pre and post comparison. And it's like, it's unbelievably different. You see this guys? Look at, look at the difference between the standard mode that it comes in the box to after AutoCal. It's just unbelievably better. It's incredible. That's the difference. This is what you can get by calibrating it. This is what you get by using someone else's settings and hopefully it works out the best. This is, this is out of the box. You know what I mean? It, hey, it looks great. looks good to my eyes, but ISF, that's awful. This is ISF. Okay. So that's why this is so cool. That on your TV, this software with the TV's generator, pattern generator, this is what you want. This is the feeling of amazement. This is the feeling of accomplishment and something you're, you're proud of to, to see with your eyes. You know what I'm saying? Incredible. All right. So what you want to do from here is you want to save data. So click save data. And we're going to edit the name. We're going to call this ISF Bright. And save edits. And then you want to save calibration. Now this is going to lock it into the TV. All right, so save. So we're done here. Now you want to disconnect this from the TV so the TV can go back into TV mode and we'll check it out. So you want to disconnect the TV. And then we're going to disconnect the LG source. And that'll release it. Laptop and TV. You see a little flicker on the screen, just released it. And then meter settings. We're gonna disconnect the meter. Okay, it's all yellow up there. Now we calibrated with the uh, ICTCP240. That's the one we used. So I'm gonna double check that. All right guys, so now we grab the TV remote because it's still running that, that thumb drive. And we're gonna go watch TV. Well, let's double check. Make sure we're still in the, make sure we're still in ISF bright. Okay, I, oh, hold on. Okay, still ISF bright mode. 80 light, 85 contrast, 50 brightness, five sharp. So all the same settings as was before we started. All that's off. Picture options. All that's off, except for true motion. Uh, I'll show you the, the temperature. Color balance, we're gonna be at warm too. That's all grayed out. Now, I, I can't share my calibration settings with you guys. This is not something that you do on like a, a standard pattern generator, like a normal calibrator does. And then you get to write down the numbers, you get that email, and you get the list of everything. This is all internal. This is internal settings that's baked in. So it's not able, I'm not able to share this stuff. All right, so we'll, uh, we're gonna go watch TV and fingers, fingers crossed, this looks good. 
Oh my god, that looks awesome. There we go. So, oh, so right away, guys, um, the color, the, the, the red. The red right here is gorgeous. The skin tone, perfect. The blue, everything looks fantastic. Let's uh, check another channel. Great. Now this is brighter. Definitely brighter. Let's compare it to um, Expert Expert Dark. Boom. So it dims it up a bit. Dims it up. And then Bright brightens it up. Yep. Bright. Dark. Bright. That's what we calibrated. There's the news. Gorgeous. Look at the different the shades of color. It's awesome. I mean, she looks great. And all this color right here is just popping. Nice rich red. Green is great green. This blue bar is just awesome. I mean, you know, it's it's just amazing. Oh, it's just fantastic. It's not it's not crushing her her darker dress here. I still see all the different wrinkles in here. Very nice. Awesome, guys. We did it. But there we go, guys. There's the calibration. Hopefully I, I helped you out a little bit. Um, and hopefully, you know, if you get this, then you can you can go for your, from, from your, on, your, on your own and, uh, and feel as good as I do by calibrating your own TV. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. Like, subscribe, share. I'll see you guys in the next video. Home Theater Rules. LG OLED. Self-calibrated. Wrath out. See ya. Thank you.